So this is what the hinge is supposed to look like, and this is what our hinge looks like. It's broken. The computer still works. We're just trying to kind of make this more of a permanent solution. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric, and in this video we're going to do a repair of sorts on this Lenovo N42 Chromebook. The hinge is supposed to look like this all nice and it's like all jacked up. Going to try to repair it and hopefully get it fixed. As of now, this N42 is my personal Chromebook because I don't use Chromebook other than testing some stuff and I'd like to get it so when I'm not opening and closing it, it's like all jacked up. If you can see here, the problem lies in this hinge mechanism. It's broken all of the mounts off of the uh, back plastic and the LCD is fine. And rather than buying a whole new assembly, like this is such a cheap computer, I would be able to sell it for like 100 to 120 bucks. An assembly is gonna cost me like 40 to 50 and the actual LCD itself is fine. So we're gonna try to get it to a usable condition, for me at least. So I'm gonna pop this off right here. It's a literally just like a tiny little piece of adhesive showing a screw underneath. We're gonna take that screw out. And that's just giving us a little bit more room to work with around the corner, if you can see. Okay, that gives you a little bit better of an angle of what's going on. Some of the antennas kind of like jammed into the plastic, which I'm gonna kind of pull out. Here is the plan of action. A lot of these mounts are supposed to be like in the plastic, have come out, and just like little bits of plastic have broken. I don't know if it took trauma or just broke because it's cheap or what, but I'm going to kind of put the hinge where it should be and we're gonna take this stuff that I got from Walmart for like three or four bucks. We're gonna do some epoxy to try to like get everything in place. And then hopefully the epoxy will hold stronger than the force needed to open and close the hinge. What I'm doing is getting the hinge where I want it to be, just kind of like that. Well, I'm gonna wanna get epoxy underneath it, so it actually would be easier if I just got this entire front assembly off. So I'm just gonna do that. We're just gonna get it all off because I think that will be easier. So we're taking both screws and then it's got some adhesive that we're just gonna peel off. And then all of this kind of just, oh, looks like there was a crack. That's okay, this is totally just a computer for me for testing stuff. So that's how the assembly comes off. I should probably turn it off. So this is what the hinge is supposed to look like, and this is what our hinge looks like. It's broken. The computer still works. We're just trying to kind of make this more of a permanent solution. with the epoxy. So these two components mix and create really strong adhesive. That's going to like basically turn into plastic. And I'm gonna use this auto, it's like this auto mixer plunger to kind of just squirt a bunch of adhesive down into this. So I'm squirting behind. As I'm plunging down, the epoxy is starting to mix and I'm gonna squeeze some behind the hinge, and now I'm gonna try to press the hinge down to where it needs to be, or pull the hinge up kind of where it needs to be. Kind of like that. Now the problem is I need to hold this while this stuff dries. And it's supposed to cure fairly quickly. I'm gonna put more like on top of the hinge. There's these little holes, I'm just gonna fill them up too. That's actually a really good, I'm just filling, there's these little holes that I'm just filling. All right. The computer is almost at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna let this dry. It's putting downward pressure onto the hinge assembly. And I'm gonna let this dry, it should probably 
be cured, it says in like an hour or so, and then I'll come back and do some tests and hopefully it'll be uh, usable, workable. And we'll reinstall this, it should be good to go. Just about an hour later, it's dry to the touch and it looks like it closes and I can open it and it's much better than it was before. Oh, it just booted on because I opened it. Now we're gonna try to get the bezel on, which kind of just snaps into place, which might affect, it just makes it look nicer. It's not necessary, but oops, I got a little bit of epoxy squished onto the screen. We'll have to clean that off, but yeah, doesn't, doesn't seem that bad. Everything is kind of going together. Snapping in, 100% perfectly flush, but Here it all snapping together. Google Chromebook Legos. All right. Okay, more or less, other than me not having this uh, back hinge cover, which I didn't have on the computer anyways. Dang, I'm like noticing more and more damage to this thing the more I work on it. There's a crack in the back of the back case. So, but check it out. The hinge is way more usable now than it was before because it was all completely junked up. So I'd say pretty successful repair. It was like three something from Walmart, about an hour of time. This is now a lot more usable than it was broken at the pawn shop. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or encouraging comments, let me know about them in the comment section below. I'm gonna use this. I could probably maybe sell it for like 75 bucks as is, something like that. Cause it's still a functioning Chromebook. Keyboard's fine, the display's fine. It's all just a little bit of like plastic cosmetic stuff but it will have a life now we kept it out of a dumpster so i will talk to you guys in the next video bye